Uh. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey. I am the old man that is bad at games and I can't figure out which direction I'm going. Already had to clear my throat. Pretty good start. Anyway, we're going to hop back into Judgment. Let's see what we can do here. Pardon me. Actually, before I... Nope. Oh, I don't want to do that. Kamarocha Mad Bomber. have done all of these. Alright. So let's go back into the office. Shall we? We did it. Uh, yo. Talk. <laughs> Long time no see. Yagami. Higashi? Is that you? Hmm. Higashi from the Masuge family. He and Kaito-san were close before Kaito-san got booted. here on captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. Mm. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hammer's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. Hell, he's a better leader than you were. Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine. We can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. We're done here. Uh. Come on. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Talk. Think you could tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah, he's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through, but it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. All right, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I going to get more dirt on Hamra? Yeah. Hello? It's Kaito. I have a read on a guy. I can see you. Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. Right on Nakamichi. Got it. Thanks again.
still don't understand how the roads work in Camarocho. I feel kind of like you can just walk wherever. I've never seen anybody talk about jaywalking or anything like that. What you know? What is it? Got it. I'll be right there. Uh, what if he turns around? I feel like sprinting for just a minute. Wait. I feel like sprinting for just a minute and then stopping a bunch of times is a bit more suspicious than just kind of doing a nice, you know, moderate pace jog. No, I'm not. See him. You don't have to say that every time. Aniki, help me out here. The fuck are you? Language. Oh shit. Get lost, pal. He's out of our league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much. Anytime. He watches out for his boys. He's not all bad. No, I'm not. They're directly in front of me, you idiot. That is my least favorite part of this game thus far. If they get behind a light pole, they think you've lost them. That is ridiculous. but I can hide hey, behind this it. thing. I'm so sorry. It's an awkward interaction. I'm not. He just went in the store. I'll go into the store. Oh my god, so that's not what I was supposed to do either. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, the tailing people, the people, game talk. The tailing people thing is poorly designed, in my opinion. Now, granted, what do I know? I've never made a game. It just seems fascinating to watch a guy walk into a store, not follow him into the store, and then be like, "Oh my God, you're losing him." see him through the window. Anyway. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. 
Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. It's a great name. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Well, they have a casino in the back or something? Nah, we just used it for deals ever so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it. Do I change right here? Yes, this beanie and glasses. That will keep my identity safe. Not the glasses work for Clark yet, so we'll see. Uh, let's do a capsule machine. Why not? Got dabbling blowfish. Down, Brad. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Whoa, really? Thanks, mister. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Cop on a squat. Can I play any of these games? Video game. What do you think there? you're doing, huh? Off limits. I'm a great investigator. Real good. Oh, hey, a capsule machine that takes me back. No. So now, what do I... What the heck do I do? Can I talk to you? No. Um, can I go this way? No. What do I do? Hmm. Well, Perfect. This guy's the worst stealthy private investigator I've ever seen. Um, hmm. Alright. So... Don't think... Any of that is good. Can't do anything there. Can't do a drone. I'll just keep going back. I said stay out, asshole. Okay, well, that seems counterintuitive. 
gotta beat the Charles employee. come in to be stealthy or we're told to be stealthy but then we throw a guy through a bunch of arcade machines you got you son this guy's crazy yagami you followed me asshole wait what the hell are you wearing let's not worry about that now so what do you want Kaito-san's worried about you, you know? Oh, yeah? As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? Language. And who the fuck cares? Language. This is how the Yakuza roll. With bad sunglasses. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that, asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. Yurko Matuka Faimi Office. A thief going after Yakuza I don't know why cash. I couldn't say that properly. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. <laughs> think you're doing making sure there's some accountability around here boss as if that'll suddenly make things right how exactly does this get our money back well it won't but it's a start it's important to set an example a hundred mil huh sounds like that's one expensive finger I've been changed my clothes in a year why are you here? We were outside having a chat. The hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! Huh. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh, what more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out for good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... <gasps> Boss, you're okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss, it's got to be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. <sighs> Atsugane san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? Certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian like Kaito-san has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due Language. respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. Back off. I'll 
I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. Bum, bum, bum. It was fucked up. I which boss brought you in to save Kaito Aniki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you it's gave him the best room. defense a man could ask for. Yeah, and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. Hell do you know? Yes, I touched a nerve. Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Aniki gone, Matsugani san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. By the way, whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh? Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? <sighs> Fuck off. Lying your business. True. Quit it. Kato sounds probably waiting for me back at the office. Alright. We're gonna wrap this episode up here because uh, I just realized I forgot and left my dog outside. Um, I'm gonna go clean that up. Hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, give us a like, consider subscribing. Again, my name is Corey. I'm the old man that's bad at games. We'll see you next time.